What's up everybody? Today we're joined by Lucius and he's flying in all the way from Charleston, South Carolina. And you got a little bit of a flight, huh? Oh yeah. You feeling a little bit of restriction in your system? Got a little tension here. It's kind of terrible. And when's the last time you went to a chiropractor? Four or five years ago. So I, I'd say he's probably due for an adjustment. <laughs> uh, go ahead and have a seat right here. I'm just gonna check out your neck one more time. All right. So we did a quick analysis with Lucius and discovered quite a few things. One is upon palpation of his neck here, uh, we noticed that there's a lot more tension and tightness on the right side. And there's a muscle, it's called the scalene or scalenes. So you got the anterior, middle and posterior. And his anterior middle scalene is tight. It's firing and it shouldn't be. That muscle brings your head down and to the side and he's not doing that, so why is this firing? Well, it inserts onto the first rib and then it goes up to the anterior TP or transverse process of some of these cervical vertebra. So for him, it's entering right down into the C5 and C6. That's tight right there. Oh, yeah. Feel a little bit of pain there. Oh yeah. And it doesn't feel like this side, right? I'm still no. digging down the left no, side. No. So that's the big one. And then upon uh, just palpation again, I noticed that his trap is a little bit more full on the right side and that trap uh, inserts onto the base of the skull. So those are probably the two primary things I'm gonna be working with Lucius as we adjust him, but let's lay him on down and check him out. So go ahead and go face down for me. All right. All right. <clears throat> Always an honor to take care of people that are flying in from across the world here. And so Lucius is a good friend of one of our assistants here at the source. And so he's here uh, visiting and I believe they're gonna go hike Half Dome, is that right? That's right. That's right, that's exciting. All right, so one of the uh, first areas that I find within the thoracic spine upon a scan is he does have some dysfunction uh, right at the lower part of the shoulder blades, also known as the scapula. So we're looking at like that T8, T9, and we're just trying to sink in and notice exactly how it wants to be released. So for him, it's a little bit of clockwise rotation. Good, take a breath for me. Let it out. So right there. Ooh. Good release. <laughs> Felt that one, huh? Yep. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> so let's go ahead and check out the legs. He does have this little bit of an eversion and uh, what we call supination of the foot and upon palpation of his Achilles. So Kelly, go and come over here and you can check it out. So this one, you'll see the positioning. If you actually just wanna take this view right here, I'll come this way, Kelly, and then shoot it, come this way. There we go. Perfect, and shoot going down. So you can see the actual ankles. There we go. So this one is a lot straighter and this one is torqued. So it's like this. And then when I palpate the Achilles, we actually notice that there's a lot more tension in the Achilles. So this one is flatter, it's broader. This one has a lot more tension. And it can be due because of the calcaneus, which is the heel bone being distorted, or it can also have relationship with other parts of the ankle, or actually be a reflection of the tone of the cord. So if you wanna come back around this way, we're gonna check this out. So upon palpation of his calcaneus, his calcaneus is moving fine, and actually I would say it's even maybe a little bit loose. So it's not that. So then it's probably cord tension. And on this distraction, I do notice that there's some stuff going on in his right SI joint. That's where the sacrum meets the ilium. He's a little bit short on the right leg. He does go a little bit longer. And as I bring the legs up to position two, I do notice that there's a little bit more compression happening at the sacrum. So we'll follow it up with some motion palpation. So yeah, it's basically S2, S3 tubercle and its connection to the ilium on the right side. So go this side up for me. Okay. You're gonna face me on your side. All right. And we're gonna adjust this for you, all right, bud? Okay. So just like that, we'll let the head relax down. Perfect. Here, sweet. So we're gonna connect right to that spot. Take a nice breath in and let it on out. There you go. Got it. Oof. On your yep. stomach. Perfect. Let's <laughs> check that. That went really well. Okay, well, we'll go right underneath your ankles here with the pillow. There we go. Good. <clears throat> Sweet. So better tone and tension on the Achilles. We're gonna bring the legs to position two. They remain even less tension as we go um, even closer, heels to glutes. Good, awesome, roll to your back for me. Okay. So that cleared really well. Now, the last couple things we have here, as we talked about that the right part of uh, the anterior part of the transverse processes around C5, C6 is where that scalene was going into. So we wanna see how it opens up in rotation. 
So this is an anterior pull. So what I'm gonna do, get a little closer right here and look at this angle. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a connection posterior of the sternocleidomastoid, which is this big fatty muscle here. I'm gonna go on the back side of it, find C5, C6, that joint space. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna start to rotate the neck the opposite way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn that vertebra this way and then adjust through the front part of the space. And what that's gonna do is get a nice discharge on the anterior and the middle scaling. So we're here, bring the neck around to here, fire. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. And so what he should notice as we finish this adjustment, I'll repalpate that scaling and he should have a lot less pain and tenderness. So the last one for the trap that inserts onto the occiput, we're seeing how this occiput needs to move. It needs to go from superior to inferior, slightly lateral to medial here. Nice. Just clean. Beautiful. Sit on up and face that direction one more time. We'll repalpate. How we doing, bud? Doing great. Oof. All right, so we're just gonna repalpate in on those same muscles, and it should feel a difference. So again, this is the left side, this is the right side. Feel a little bit different? Oh yeah, definitely. Awesome. Go ahead and stand up. <clears throat> Shake the body out. How do you feel? Let them know. Hell of a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for coming in, Thanks, brother. Thanks, man, so much. You got it, we'll see you guys next time.